This is a video tutorial showing you how to create a email that is going to go out and how you're going to schedule it. So once you are in Kajabi, okay. you're going to scroll down the sidebar to the left and go into marketing. This is where you'll be able to find all the newsletters to be able to schedule out. Like I said, all the content is there. So you're really going to be editing it to make sure it makes sense and relevance currently. So I want you to start with the first one that was scheduled back in the day, the one, first one that was entered. So it would be these ones. Okay. So starting basically at the very end. So the latest date, April, 2023, and then moving up from there, we already have one we were working on in from April. So we're going to continue working on this one. Okay. So first thing you want to notice is the subject line. I want it to be catchy, not clickbaity. You want it to be relevant for the content in the email. Good. I'm going to put this here because like we discussed, we're going to be advertising a free masterclass on meal planning. And then this is the content. <clears throat> so for each one of these, these are a blog that has been created and put on my website already. And I can show you in the future how to upload the blog. And I've already gone ahead and edited this. But I just want to show you how I searched for the blog. So this blog was on metabolism. Okay. So I went to katherinetanaka.com. Actually, Catherine Tanaka blog metabolism. Because we didn't have a link. So you can see that it's here. What is metabolism? You're going to click this hyperlink. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go into this and add it into your post. So click here to view full post. You're going to scroll up and you're going to find this little button here. Insert edit link. You're going to add it here. Make sure it's to a new window and you're going to press OK. Okay. So I edited this to make this relevant, but let's go through it together. So, hey, so-and-so, when you are adding a new name, please make sure that you go to per personalize and add it from here because I have in the past screwed that up and it literally sends an email to say Jessica and it says, hey, first name. So just so you know. Good. So I edited this content to make sure that it's relevant to the metabolism conversation of this blog. I'm actually going to, um, you can always change this so that it's smaller on the right. And then you feel like you have more edit ability here. So, hey, first name, some of you may know that I'm starting a new accredited accreditation in functional nutrition and metabolic specialization, which is true. This is relevant more now than ever because we are at the start of a new year. My clients, because as we start the new year, my clients are focusing on getting back on track with habits that support their fitness, health, fitness, and fat and loss metabolism. Metabolism. If that's a goal for them. Although I have several certifications in nutrition, I am most excited about this one as I will be able to better guide fat loss, supplementation, and metabolic considerations like perimenopause, Hashimoto's, and other health um, other health, other challenges with fat loss. So now this is the meat and the potatoes, right? Like this is the content that's already there and read through it just to make sure that it's relevant, right? My clients often ask me, do calories really count? Yes and no. There are so many phases to building your ultimate body and various factors consider with your road to success. One of the things that everyone should focus on, regardless of where you are in your journey, comma, is how much weight and how much energy you have. The focus is really how dialed in is your metabolism. Dial in your metabolism. Your metabolism way that your body utilizes the food you consume and the oxygen you intake to give you your daily energy, heat expenditure and reserves of energy to store for later. Your metabolic efficiency or metabolic rate depends on how effective and efficient your body thyroid and functions is it the con converting the consumed food into your processes required 
into the processes required. Taking this into consideration is the is the first step. First step to building your ultimate body. So I don't love the world word ultimate. Like, because there's no ultimate body. It's really about feeling and looking your best. Anyways, so that's why I changed that. When I create individual nutrition plans and trading protocols for my clients, comma, I always consider their metabolic rate based on their resting metabolic rate, MRI, M RMR, and their total daily expenditure. This is true. Without fail, understanding your personal metabolic rate and working to manipulate your nutrition adequately to your needs will increase your metabolism. Making you a fat burning furnace. I know for my clients, we've been able to successfully to, to successfully dial in their metabolism, get them on the path to optimize their results and therefore their efforts. Of course, comma, it's not just about how much you eat, but also your hormones, body composition, and even what and even what you eat counts. What you eat what you eat matters. Click here to read the full post about how you can build your best feeling and looking body, your metabolism and how, how you affect your metabol metabolic rate and a great recipe for a lean metabolic boosting chicken dish. Good. Save that. And then below, you're going to also add in the URL, right? Copying it from the blog <clears throat> that we have. Good. And then putting it in here. As you can see, it's already in there. You, If you want to change this color because it, the buttons may not be the same, you can change it here. If you need the code, you have it here, the hex code for the color. I just, you can always look like I kind of love this color. I like a light version of this color, et cetera, et cetera. Let me show you how to add this. So let's save this. In this section, you'll see sections here is where all the separate sections are, right? This is the text section up top. This is button section. And then you have your image and text, okay? Essentially, what you need to do, I'll just show you again, is add a section here. You have different considerations, but this is the one that we're going to use, image and text, okay? Add here. And for our purposes... You're going to find a recent file because it's already in there. If it is not in there, you can always add it in, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay. So you're going to add in that consideration. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this so you can see it. Copy this and bring it down. Add it here. Okay. Why didn't that add? There we go. Okay. So for this, I got it underneath my blog. Okay. We're going to copy and paste this and you would do this for everything. Okay. Copy and paste it. Copy and hyperlink it. Hyperlinking it is just here. Right. Make sure it's in there. Okay. Good. And then if you want to change the background to the image and text. You're going to scroll down, see here appearances. You're going to go appearance and then change it to whatever color you desire. Okay. Then we're going to go back. I'm actually going to delete this section because I already added everything in for you to see. I've added in the meal planning and prepping, and I'm actually going to show you a video of how to create this funnel. And then we're going to go from there. Good. Let me know if, oh, and then when you are looking to schedule it, you're going to save it. You're going to go out, save and continue. For our purpose, you're going to schedule it for a later date. We're going to schedule this every single Monday at let's go 8 a.m., okay? 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can start scheduling them out so they're already there. 
and then they'll automatically go kind of our LinkedIn posts. Good. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm actually going to work on this one now and send it out today. Good.